Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're just waiting for the music right now. It's just a tradition at this point. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, today we're back playing Roll of Hex. Absolutely love this game. Can't I honestly can't get enough of this game. I really I really can't. I, I don't know. I I'm in love with it. I really am. Um we're gonna try this one. So this is just a defend for 20 minutes one, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I guess we'll I guess we'll find out how things are gonna go. Yeah. As usual, we got the the missile launcher right right at the start, and we'll put uh get some auto build. And so yeah, we'll put get some more auto build. Put some more missile launchers down. I go for projectile speed. I'm thinking put like defenders on the inside here, and then we could have another missile launcher like right here or something. It's not really gonna get much range, but should at least help with like the the beginning part here, and it'll it'll look nice. The base will look a little nice, so. Maybe I should have put a a barrier uh, a barrier generator there instead. I I probably would have been better. It's fine. We already got a good amount of auto build going too, so pretty happy about that. Shouldn't have to worry too much about losing these coordinators for the time being, at least. I will go for more damage. Would love uh, damage on kill, but we can we can wait a little while for that. Barrier equals damage. So that was a pretty interesting one to have. Um, not sure if I really liked it though, so I'm just gonna go for kills lower cooldown. I'll go for slow on hit. Um. I was thinking about the synthetic range. Maybe I should have gone for that one. I don't know. I, I think this would this would end up being better though. Um, because then I could get a lot more like uh, I can get abilities and I wouldn't really have to use them, and their cooldown would be like, pretty dang short. Um, because it would be constantly being lowered by the, uh, by, uh, there we go, damage on kill, by, uh, kills. So I think that would actually work out pretty well for me. Like this one right here. See, I can get automatic barrier, but I think the supply drop would actually be better for me. Go for some resources just to kind of get that thing going. Um, go for more barrier. Slow on hit would have probably been better right there, actually. It's fine. Go for more projectile speed. Proje projectile speed is always a pretty good one to go for with the uh, with the with the missile launcher. It launches missiles, and sometimes I still somehow screw up the name for it. So I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me how I'm so stupid sometimes. I it's it's a gift. <laughs> it's a it's a gift. That's all. That's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, I definitely want to put a okay, put that there. I don't know why. I just like making the base look like symmetrical. At least at the start. Later on, it's kind of like let, let's just put things wherever we can. But at the start, I, I do my best to kind of make things look somewhat symmetrical. Um, I honestly don't think it's like a bad thing. And I think it actually is probably slightly beneficial. Because then it's, then you uh, can kind of figure out where to put things better. I think it's, it's not even like I'm trying to make it look symmetrical. I'm just kind of putting things in the most like optimal positions. Um, for if I do get the opportunity for things like, you know, 
isolated damage or uh, isolated damage or ice damage for isolated cannons. There we go. That's what that's what it's called. I was I was struggling. I was struggling to say that. To say what the name that upgrade was. I don't know why. Um. I'm I'm never gonna get over the music in this game. I genuinely do love it. These videos don't get like a lot of views. I understand that. I know. I know. These videos don't get like a ton of views, but I don't I honestly don't care. I love this game. I'm gonna keep playing it, I'm gonna keep having fun while playing it. It's a great game. It really is. If I was doing video, if I was like doing YouTube for the sake of views, then I, for, first of all, I wouldn't do gaming videos to start off with. I would go with like reaction videos or something, but something that's even easier than this. <laughs> But I'm just I'm having fun and honestly it's it's nice to be able to help out like um like game developers and things like that because like the guy that makes Roll a Hex, like he's not like he doesn't have like a huge following, especially like on YouTube. But it's like if I can help him out and kind of push his game a little bit then I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm gonna have fun doing it gonna keep playing this game, gonna keep having fun while playing this game, like, I don't know, it's just, it's, I love it, I really do. I'm gonna keep just helping out as many people as I can, especially game devs, because, you know, one day I, I might decide, hey, I want to get into game development, and I actually wouldn't mind doing it, I would, I would definitely love to get into game development someday. But so if I get so if there so if I created a game and you know someone started posting videos on my game, I definitely would absolutely love that. I would I would love the person for it. So if I can do that for someone, I definitely will just do it and hope that they hope they enjoy it. Hope they. Hope they enjoy, uh, even if it's not a huge amount of, you know, um, huge amount of attention that I'm bringing to the game. As long as I can bring some more people to the game who end up enjoying it as well, that's all I care about. Even if people make better quality videos than I'm, than I'm making, then at least they're making videos on it. All I can ask for. Go for more attack speed. The missile launcher is pretty much like everywhere. Pretty much cover the base of missile launchers. Might have been better if I put a missile launcher here. I don't know. I'm gonna go for that thing though. If I put it there, I could have put it there, then there, then there. I don't know. A lot of the spots where I could have put it already had like barrier generators in them. So I didn't really want to have to then spend more resources to get to put more barrier generators there. I don't know. Maybe it would have been more optimal, but it also would have required me having to spend unnecessary resources. So I didn't, I didn't really want to do that. I don't know. I hope it was the right decision. I feel like it is. Maybe it is. Go 
looking for more barrier. Yeah, I mean, these things are absolutely demolishing my base. And they always do. These, the spheres, they always destroy my base. No matter what, like, no matter what I do or whatever, it's like I always end up just with just absolutely, absolute destruction because of these guys. Yeah, we'll go for a damage rise. There we go. That's something good to get. Hopefully that should help. Go for more damage on skills. What's wrong with this guy? This guy looks a little different. That guy too. Go for more damage on skills. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when there's just like a huge, like, just swarm of them. That's when things become quite the problem. Go for more damage on kill though. But see, the thing is, it's like if I can get a swarm of missiles, then we're they're they're, they're we're good. But I need the swarm of missiles before I can worry about that. That's the only problem. Building costs. Yeah, see, and then when they come in fast like that, like, my gosh. My guys don't even have time to, like, attack in the first place. Like, respond. Yeah, that, that, that. Or, or like that. Or like, and there's huge ones. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those guys are quite difficult for me to deal with. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. Or is there one that I don't have? I don't have range yet. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go for range. I'm going to go for this one. I'm redoing this one just for the sake of getting range. Oh my gosh. This is a very interesting spot to start off in. I'm gonna, for, I'm gonna go for more damage. I'm gonna go for auto build. We're just gonna get two of these guys down just for the sake of helping to defend right now. Um, we'll go for that to start off though. Then I'll get rid of it and then put another that guy down. We can have them isolated right from the start. Now they are going to kill this thing, which I'm not sure how good of an idea it is, but hopefully it drops a lot of resources. That's just kind of what I'm relying on at this point, is that it drops a lot of resources. Because if it spawns a lot of enemies, I'm kind of screwed. Oh, it did drop a lot of stuff. Holy crap, it really did. Okay. Range. Okay. Go for more auto build. Um, you know what? Let's put that thing right there. Put it like right in the center. Where's the next spot for it? Far away. Okay. I have to build out a little bit. Go for more damage, go for more auto build. The reason I'm going for more auto build is just to help with expansion. Because, uh, yeah, expansion is what we need right now. Also, more damage. Damage on kill would be really good right now as well. Any, any amount of damage on kill right now would be nice. Of course, I'm not getting it. I could build out to there. 
wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no, I did have it at the right side. The reason I'm doing this is to get the range, like, immediately, and then I can worry about everything else later on. So I'll get the damage, like, immediately, kind of expand out a bit. Um, no, yeah, I want to I wanna get that range. I don't want to... I don't want to win until I can get the range. Upgrades per minute? Yeah, we're going to go for upgrades per minute. We're going to go for building costs. Attacks. Gonna re roll. Uh, they can, like, right. Oh, no. That's a bad spot. Uh, that's damage growth, okay. Okay, we, are, we, got, we got the range. What we wanted. We're gonna go for damage and explosive size. Okay, this wasn't set up perfectly, but it's fine. I'm gonna keep going. Keep hoping for the best. What's the range on them? They have a pretty nice range now. Go for shield regen, just to help with regenerating them a little bit. Why? Okay, so they have increased range. But they don't attack until they get... I'm confused. I'm, I'm a little confused. Okay. Okay, so... Missile... Barrier. Missile mar barrier. Missile barrier. Missile barrier. 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 I'll go for slow on hit. I'm probably annoying people with the way I say missile. Missile? Missile? I don't know. Let me know how you guys say missile. 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 Let's see. Okay. I mean, things are going pretty good. I got the... I got the, uh these things, the telescopes. I got a few of those guys going. They're just slow. We'll go with that one, sure. Uh, next one I'm going to put is going to be uh, left, down left of my cursor. After they destroy these guys. Okay, missile, missile, barrier, missile, barrier, missile, barrier. From barrier, missile, barrier. And then next one is gonna go there. Whenever I can afford it. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the Pandora's box. Afford it yet? Barrier, missile, barrier, missile, barrier. Looks 
save a bit of money putting, uh, waiting for the auto build to kind of start up in that area. So I guess I might as well kind of wait for it just to help save some money. Now their range, yeah, their range is definitely a lot bigger now. Open it's noticeable here. I'm gonna wait until I see like an enemy. Okay, yeah, so it does it is very okay, it's very noticeable actually. But for a building cost, because now we're gonna need to start actually filling in some of the areas with turrets. It seems like I don't know. I don't okay. Increases the range of all your turrets by zero point one. See, I don't know if it if it only affect, if it affects only new towers that have been recently placed, like after you put after you put down the telescope, or if it affects or if it affects all of them, even ones that have already been placed down. Because maybe it's just me, but it kind of seems like it only affects the ones that are placed after you put down the turret. But I could just be completely I could just be making that up and. And that's not actually how it works. Just in my mind, that's how it works. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, is that actually work? Okay. Now that whole thing is kind of messed up. Well, actually we could do that. that, that would work. Okay, it's not really. Focusing too much on symmetry. I need to actually focus on defending, not not the symmetry of my towers. Yeah, give me some more range. I need more range. Here, take out that thing. Can you take it out yet? Okay, yeah. It's those are lurkers, right? Yeah, those are. Okay, we'll go for more experience. Sure. Yay, we got range, but we're gonna keep going for range. I want more range. What is that thing up there? Here it is. What is it? Why is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a sniper. Okay. Why did I put that there? Go for more damage for isolated towers. No, 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 no. I messed that up. Ooh, got another upgrade for that. Nice. Go for more auto build, because why not? Get some more attack speed. Go for more projectile speed. You know what? Maybe having, like, units that can, like, actually attack. Hmm. Maybe having, yeah, maybe having things that have like a fast, immediate attack, like uh, like the sniper, would be good. Or maybe, probably behemoth would be better. Or maybe cannon. Maybe just a regular cannon would be good. And the reason I say that is because you could slow things down first, and then let the missile launchers kind of go in and defend. You could have, yeah, so you could have things that, like, are gonna slow down the, slow down the enemy, the enemy units, and then, hmm. I'm not sure.
feel like it could be a good idea, though. But I'm not sure. I guess it's something to keep in mind. I need to be careful not to like do it to like spend too much time um, on the whole like um, neutralizing lur lurkers thing because eventually it's gonna take it's gonna get to a point where like lurkers are like just enemies in general are gonna get so strong that like they're just gonna take me out before I even I guess actually doesn't really matter because I'll get the thing anyways. Um, I'd rather just look for it since I don't need any more like abilities. Oh, the blade thing, yes! That thing is so good. Actually, the the, the saw blade launcher is actually really good. I've seen the power it has when you when you merge it, and I'm like, yeah, that thing is insane. Um, let's go for upgrades per minute. We'll go for another one of those. Let's go for more barrier. What are those? Things? Seems like slow. It looked like they were like slower but tankier versions of the uh of the spheres. slow on it. What am I up to now? Five? Okay. Go for more upgrades per minute. There's no way up to, f up to three. So we get three random upgrades every minute. That's going to be really nice. Go for more projectile speed. Should be scanning more of the area, I guess. Let's go one more. One more. 336 more lurkers, but there's a whole swarm that just got decimated right there. Now we're, that was already 120 something right there. Actually, I don't think it was quite, I don't remember. Was it 336, I think? So it wasn't quite 100, it was like 90. But we were close. But yeah, I mean, we're just getting a ton of lurkers that are coming in. Go for more projectile speed. Let me carry your recharge. Yeah, those lurkers are getting destroyed. Which is good. Because we need we need to destroy lurkers for this mission. What is this? Why are they just building? Right now? I'm not sure. Maybe I accidentally put them there. more shield regen because we don't really need some more slow arcades. Oh yeah, uh, we can destroy that thing for resources. Destroy like this. Thing. Go for more automatic barrier. I don't know if they can hit down here, but if they can, 
again, I wouldn't be able to destroy those. It just depends on how far they can actually shoot them. They can. They can destroy those things. I mean, their range is extremely long right now. I know I said I was going to only do one more, but we're going to... This is actually going to be the last one. What's the range? Oh yeah, these guys have it. They weren't supposed to be able to reach down there, but somehow they were able to. I think it was just from the missile. Like actually, right down there. A couple more projectiles to be Uh, we'll go with... I like that. could use a bit of um, expansion. I feel like the whole thing is looking pretty good right now. Like I'm not I'm not really that worried about moving at the moment. Uh we'll go for damage and knockback. Let's let's look at it like this, I guess. And just watch the red dots slowly disappear and get pushed backwards as invisible uh, projectiles from these dot or these hexagons um, take them out go for more damage on kill so we just need where's our last lurkers right in here okay Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Ooh, but we only need four of eight. Okay, I'll I'll take it. It's fine. Now we have some range upgrades. All your offensive buildings by zero point six. How wonderful! Zero point six tiles. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, any range upgrade is gonna be good. Any, but yeah. Anyways. My name is Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Roll of Hex. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, you guys take care.